There once was a band, the best in the land. Everybody said, oh my, they're grand. But how they laughed when the tuba went by with an oom pa pa And a great big sigh. Tubby da tuba puffing away. Never had a tune to play. Always dreamed he'd sing a song. Stand up. Wish I had a melody I'd be better off I know If I didn't have to blow Then a friendly frog came by and said Now Tubby, don't you cry Just take my bullfrog serenade And you'll be the star of the big parade Tubby sang the song so grand Now he's leader of the band He's as famous as can be With Tubby the tuba's melody Was as fast, was as fast as fast could be. And the turtle was so slow, but he was wise. And no one from the forest thought that they would ever see. The turtle beat the rabbit right before their eyes. Oh, the rabbit ran a mile, and then he would stop to rest. And the turtle walked along without a stop. When the rabbit climbed a hilltop, hippie hop up to the crest. The turtle was walking on the other side. Oh, the rabbit stopped to eat, and the rabbit stopped to play. And the turtle kept on walking on his merry way. And the rabbit stopped to drink, and the rabbit stopped to sleep, saying, I can catch that lazy turtle with nearly just a leap. Then the rabbit rubbed his eyes, and he started in to run right back to the place where they had begun. As the rabbit huffed and puffed to get across the finish line, the turtle sat there waiting and feeling oh so very fine. The rabbit was so fast, the turtle was so slow, the turtle beat the rabbit, he won the race you know. Stopped to play, and the turtle kept on walking on his merry way. 
And the rabbit stopped to drink And the rabbit stopped to sleep Saying I can catch that lazy turtle With barely just a leap Then the rabbit rubbed his eyes And he started in to run Right back to the place where they had begun As the rabbit huffed and puffed To get across the finish line The turtle sat there waiting and saying Slow and steady wins the Like his brother Turley Pig Who built his house of twigs and sticks Then came along old Pudgy Pig He'd build his house to last Not straws or sticks, but stone and bricks And cement that dried fast So on they went to build their homes They went their separate ways. The straw house took an hour no more. The wood house took not even four. The stone and brick house Pudgy built took many, many days. And then one winter's evening, when all was still and quiet, a bad old wolf decided to add Piglet to his diet. He called upon young girly pig, knocked on the door so thin, and curly pig cried out, Who's there? I'm not a pig that you can scare. The wolf said, You better let me in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. And the wolf stepped back, spinning round and round, and said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. But Curly Pig fooled that old wolf just like a little mouse. He sneaked out through the kitchen door and ran to Twirly's house. Now Twirly opened up his door and to his parlor beckoned. Young Curly quickly jumped inside. The wolf arrived that second. Open the door and let me in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The house came tumbling to the ground. The wolf leaped right inside. The little pigs had run away to Pudgy's house to hide. The wolf then went to Pudgy's house to try the same old trick. But who could blow a house down when it's made of stone and brick? The wolf climbed to the chimney top and Pudgy placed a pail. Inside the chimney, nip and tuck, the wolf slid down, got himself stuck. The pigs then tied the bad wolf up and took him off to jail. Remember as you go through life to always do things well, and you will find much happiness. You'll grow to be a big success. Our story's at an end now, so. We bid you fun farewell. What's that coming round the bend? High up on the hill, Chiggy. 
jogging, jogging down the tracks past the old red mill. It's the toy town choo-choo zipping along. The toy town choo-choo singing a song. Juggle waggle choo-choo, juggle waggle choo-choo, juggle waggle choo-choo song. See that engine puff along, puffing all the smoke. Puffing, puffing down the tracks, near the big rain It's the toy town choo-choo, zipping along. The toy town choo-choo, singing a song. Juggle waggle choo choo, juggle waggle choo choo, juggle waggle choo choo song. The engineer blows his whistle now, rooty tooty tack. Ouch, he almost hit a cow walking on the track. The motor man waves his lantern high, flapping like a goose. Then we all can see what's wrong, there's a loose caboose. Now it's rolling past the lake, where the donkeys play. Rooting, tooting down the tracks, don't get in the way. Of the toy town choo-choo, zipping along. The toy town choo-choo, singing. Juggle waggle choo choo, 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 juggle waggle choo choo. until he became very, very sick. And a good blue fairy took him in and put him to bed and called the very best of doctors for him. First, there was Dr. Crow. The puppet is quite sick, I think. He's hovering right on the brink. But if he's not sick, I tell, twould be a sign that he were well. And then there was Dr. Owl. The puppet is quite well, I think. I really think he's in the pink. But if he's not well right quick, I tell you that he's very sick. And just then, a little cricket hopped into the room and said, Don't pay attention to these two. Chirpy Cricket knows what to do. It's just that he's not very smart. And his puppet So you see, Pinocchio was very sick because he'd been such a bad boy. I'm not bad, I'm good, but I don't do as I should. But whosoever could, if their head were made of wood. The next day, Pinocchio was walking down a road looking for his father who was lost. A big stagecoach full of little boys came by. They all seemed to be having such a good time that Pinocchio jumped on board. And lo and behold, he found himself in the land of boobies. <laughs> 
to a circus and then to a peddler and when the peddler went to wash him the pure ocean water changed him from a donkey back to a little puppet again but before Pinocchio could say chirpy cricket he was swallowed alive by a tremendous whale and you can imagine his surprise when inside that whale he found his father alive and healthy cooking himself a catfish I'm here my father gonna rescue you Back to our home I'm taking you We'll build a raft and sail Right out of this great big whale Ready? Now when I pull the whale's tonsil and he yells You push the raft out of his mouth Here we go! And back home they went And believe it or not The very next day when Pinocchio woke up He was no longer a puppet but a real live boy. Oh, he's not bad, he's good. And he didn't do as he should. Father, good he could. 